The scariest sounds in video games. There's a lot of amazing looking games out there, but even the most popular innocent games can contain some of the most haunting sounds that still keeps us up at night. From game soundtracks causing people to get migraines and go to the hospital, to people's own video game consoles making horrifying sounds just because you put in a wrong disc, I'm going to take a look at some of the most creepiest video game sounds imaginable. And probably one of the more popular scariest sounds is the Pokemon song Lavender Town. So yeah, so just the song alone, you get this eerie, haunting feeling, which does match the vibes when you arrive at this area known as Lavender Town. The whole town is said to be haunted, mainly the Pokemon Tower, which is known as the burial ground for Pokemon, because yes, Pokemon do actually die, believe it or not. And the Lavender Town soundtrack scared so many people. There's even stories written about these spooky encounters that people had. There's this one known as the Lavender Town Syndrome, where an urban legend claimed that hundreds of Japanese children had listened to the game and experienced high-pitched tones and binary beats beats causing headache and erratic behavior. This song was said to lead people to the hospital. There's even a couple of Reddit posts here saying, weird images and audio file that seems to play Lavender Town with spectrograph images. So yeah, someone put the song in like a spectrograph and they said that these images appeared. So the top left appears to be a Pokemon and then we've got a couple of unknown here. This one seems to be screaming. Oh dear, that's uh, yeah, that's pretty gruesome. Okay. And then we've got missing no. And according to the Wikipedia, the unknown Pokemon were actually spelling out the message leave now. And while this entire story may sound sound scary, you'd be happy to know that it's all actually fake. Yeah, that's right. It was all fabricated by the internet. The music didn't actually send anyone to the hospital. It's just that creepy that people actually made it into a whole creepy pasta and everything. And honestly, even now, the Lavender Town song actually still scares me. But it doesn't scare me as much as this next sound. It's the Minecraft cave sounds. Take a look at this video here. There's a train whistle here. No, it's a blaze's breath. Oh dear. <laughs> Dude, that sounds like a demon. What the heck? Yeah, not a, not a fan of the ringing sound here. Um Dude, I hate the violin sound. That's a that's a scary one. Creeper breathing. This is how creeper breathes? What the heck? Like angel singing, that one—that one's not that bad. But yeah, the sounds by themselves aren't that scary. It's just when you're mining all alone in a cave, but then you realize you're not actually alone. A YouTuber by the name of No Pickles actually made a whole compilation of gamers' reaction to Minecraft cave sounds. Whoa! What is that noise? Dude, yeah, I would hate hey, that. What does that noise mean, everybody? <laughs> That's just a random noise, right? That actually doesn't mean anything. That's just a cute noise. Yeah, it's, Please it's a cute tell me noise. that's just a cute noise that you hear in the game. All right, here we got Markiplier now. What was that? What did I just hear? Mind playing that again for me, Lixian? Yeah, that's the. Is that the angel now whistling play it backwards. one? Ooh. Not played in slow motion, but distorted. Ooh, yeah, that's <laughs> that's really now creepy. Now overlay it with siren heads, siren call. Oh, what the heck? Oh. Oh my god. Oh, we got some sheep here. Hello? <laughs> what the heck? Is he like near a cave or something? Is that, is that why it's making that noise? Huh? No, yeah, these Minecraft cave sounds are definitely terrifying. But you know what else is terrifying? Sonic drowning. Yeah, that's right. The cute innocent blue hedgehog actually has a very scary death sound when he drowns. Yeah, just take a listen right here. Dude, I hate this sound. <laughs> Oh, Sonic! Oh dear. I used to be so scared as a kid when the first drowning music started playing. Still gives me the shivers. If anxiety had a theme song, it would definitely be the song that plays when you're drowning. Yeah, that's the thing. The idea of Sonic drowning isn't scary. It's just the whole anticipation leading up to it. It, it stresses me out. I don't know how to explain it. I mean, at least Sonic looks chill until he dies. Alright, but this next sound is one that I hate the most in all of video games, mainly because it's just downright creepy and it scares me every single time, but it's the Redead from Legend of Zelda. So in Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, you meet up with the uh, Redead here, it's pretty much like a mummy looking type creature. Um, doesn't look too bad right now, but it's a shriek that it makes that causes it to be so eerie. Yeah, so after it makes that sound, it actually paralyzes you. Maybe the sound itself is causing Link to be scared of it. And when you let it get too close, it literally just jumps on you. Jeez, look at that. Poor Link. 
Leave him alone. Yeah, and then it paralyzes Link here, and I guess it just kills him. Yeah, and the sound itself isn't the only thing that makes the whole re dead scary. What actually makes the whole thing even more scarier is that in Zelda, you start off playing the game as young Link and visit the town of Hyrule where everyone's happy. That is until you pull the Master Sword and turn into adult Link and everything is completely horrifying. All the townspeople, all the kids, and everyone is now gone. Well, actually, they just turned into these mummified looking creatures that make these weird, scary shrieking sounds. I'm not sure why they make that shrieking sound in the first place. It kind of sounds like a woman shrieking in her last moments before she got killed or transformed into this re-dead creature. But this next one is equally as terrifying as that re-dead creature. And it actually comes from the Sims 1 burglar when he's uh, robbing you. <laughs> Dude, I hate this sound. Yeah, so just randomly, a robber would just show up to your place and just literally take anything from your house. Yeah, the Sims 2 one is also creepy. But the first one is definitely the worst one because of how loud the sound would blare and just how unexpected it is, especially with all your sims just sleeping, not knowing what's to happen. All right, but this next sound is definitely one of the more unusual ones, and it doesn't even come from a video game. It comes from a video game console, the original Xbox. So yeah, the original Xbox had its own dashboard. Everything seemed normal. It kind of had like a space ambient sound. But if you just left the console alone for a certain amount of time, you'll start hearing voices. <laughs> Yeah, dude, it sounds like aliens or something. I, I don't know what it is. I, I think it's supposed to be some sort of like NASA transmissions or something. Oh yeah, here we go. The sound that plays is modified Apollo mission conversations. Xbox took bits of those recordings and tweaked them to make that creepy sound. So they just randomly took it just because? What the, what the heck? I, I don't know why they had to do that. Like, why did they have to include these sounds here? This will freak out anybody who listened to it. The noises would get louder as the console got warmer, if I recall. I don't know how they did that, though. Well, that's scary. Okay. All right, but next we have another interesting sound. It's from the Half-Life 2 zombies. It's this one here. Yeah, so these are how the zombies look like. They have like a giant head crab covering over the person's head. And what makes the zombie sound so creepy like is if you play their sound backwards, they're actually saying something. God, help! Help me! Oh, wait, there's even more fast head crab? Oh, wait, what is that backwards? <laughs> what the heck? Okay. But yeah, those zombie sounds that you're hearing in the game, it's literally backwards for the humans actually calling for help. It means that the humans themselves are still not dead. They're actually very much alive, just not in control of their own bodies. It's very similar to like the Last of Us clicker sounds, which a lot of people also hate the sounds that they make. Yeah, this is uh, very uh, haunting to say the least. Yeah, just imagine you're playing the game Last of Us and exploring abandoned houses when you come across these clickers making those weird creepy sounds. And yes, these clickers are very much alive. Sometimes you can actually just find them crying. Yeah, so this is an infected crying in agony here. So again, the people are very much alive. They're just not able to control their own bodies and are forced to attack other people. Oh jeez, okay, let's not show that. <laughs> and then just for fun, let's show the actors voicing the clickers here. Dude, it's very goofy, but also like very creepy at the same time. Oh, oh this guy's like really good. But yeah, what's the scariest sounds you've ever heard in a video game? Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.